Hello, welcome to Art Man. and today we're going to talk about cartoony paintings. And is that what you should be doing as a figurative painter in 2021? And when I say illustrative cartoony, I don't mean illustration or cartoons. I mean in the context of figurative painting. A painting where the figure or the environment or the anatomy doesn't look life like it doesn't look like it could physically be possible it basically creates like a barrier between the viewer and it stops you from entering the space of the painting because as cool as it is it's not it's not real you are not capturing life and you are not depicting life you are painting your own kind of alternate reality and the funny thing is when you are in art school this is so praised if you have a critique with a critic, even like an art, like a class critique, most of your fellow classmates, your teachers, and the critic that's there are gonna praise you for doing cartoony, caricature, not lifelike stuff. And I'm gonna sound, I'm gonna sound so bitter when I say this, but this is what I actually think is going on. Your work is getting praised by them. This kind of new individual, your own kind of vision style is getting praised for the wrong reason. The critics will praise you because it's something new to talk about. Not because your work is good, but because it's different. And I'll do a whole different video on how to deal with a critique from an art critic and what to take from it and what is like, just, just forget about it. So they will look at this kind of stylized work as, wow, this is great. And these tough guys will give you a good critique. The teachers will say, yeah, I love what you're doing, this is great too. Because for a teacher, especially in our time, in figurative painting, who were they taught by? They were taught by abstract expressionists. So for them to do figurative work that actually looks realistic is like a big no-no. Like you don't do that, that's outdated, that's boring, that's classical, like forget it. And your fellow students, I mean come on, it's obvious, they don't want a fellow student to have better painting skills and technique than they. So the second that they see you doing some kind of funny shit, they're gonna say, wow, I love it, that's great. Because it's less painting competition for them. And yeah, that sounds super mean, but when I had these critiques, I used to think that, wow, my figurative stuff, the realistic stuff, that's total trash. Like, I need to do something, something fun, like to jazz it up. I wish that someone would have told me that these critiques steer you in the wrong direction. They do, they steer you in the wrong direction. Because here's the thing, okay, right now it's the trend. Right now the hottest selling artists are doing this. And for some people it works. But there are kind of two camps of painters. The atelier guys that actually went and studied and that can paint lifelike. And the people that can't paint. And I'm not saying anyone is better, but you gotta decide which side you are on. If you actually can't depict reality and you're trying and you're trying and you're trying and it's all wonky, then yeah, you you are gonna have to make whatever painting ability you have work. And if you and if you enjoy painting this kind of exaggerated, funky kind of cartoony style, you are gonna have to do that. Because when you do that, it's a choice. And you will probably be successful at it because it's going to be your own style, no one else is going to be able to make a wonky painting like you. And if that's what you're good at, then do that. Because if you do the reality thing, it's it's never going to work. But <laughs> I'm so biased. If you have the ability to capture reality and to bring life to a drawing and a person on a canvas, then forget all the critics. Forget your classmates, forget your teachers, you need to do that. And forget about what sells and what, what is in the gallery shows right now. Forget about that. Your ability and your love for figurative painting is what's important. And I'm gonna tell you how to make this work. Because okay, people say like, yeah, figurative painting is dead and it's boring and uh, okay, okay, fine. But it doesn't matter how fun you make a jazzy painting, you will never have this one thing. Okay, and what I'm talking about is if you go into the museum, if you go to the Met and you look at the paintings there, and you look at the depictions of people there, they look back at you, they look alive. And yet critics are bitching about it, but critics are like 0.0.0.0%. The rest of the people, it's, it's like a sublime experience. 
they look at that that a person can take like paint like a liquid substance and capture life and give that to the viewer the ability to hold a moment still and to have this skill to capture reality and people are speechless and that is not an effect you are going to get with cartooniness in figurative painting it's not going to happen and think about it I know if you're just studying painting you've had this moment where okay you made a decent painting whatever and you're kind of getting into this kind of alternate reality like weird cartoony painting style and then you see someone that's doing realistic figurative work and a part of you is thinking like like damn they're good damn so simple but their ability to capture realism is really really powerful <sighs> I can't even think I'm like I can't I can't even speak I'm like thinking about painting <sighs> okay so long story short don't jump on the bandwagon of stylization of, of cartoony painting if you can paint realistically if you have that ability and if you can learn that that's like a gift you work with that that is your strength it doesn't matter what the trend of the moment is it's a trend that's gonna look dated within like five years art collectors they buy all kinds of styles they buy all kinds of work and not just art collectors anyone that's looking to buy work and that has the money to do that they support skilled artists they want to be wowed by the work and the artist's ability to capture reality that is like a profound wow factor they're not going to get with a caricature a caricature is funny different exciting okay but it doesn't stop you in your tracks and make you look and of course disclaimer there is a time when distortion in figurative art when making a painting that otherwise would be so terrible and scary kind of funny because of the history and because of the time where you physically cannot paint what's going on around you because it is that sad because it's just like some terror in that context context of war or something like that something tragic in that context caricature cartoon illustration works and it's hard to explain that feeling but in that time that's when a lot of artists switch over to not depicting reality because reality is so bad in that context yes historically illustrative caricature kind of fantastic painting works so long story short if you can do realistic painting then that is your strength and if you're just learning painting then find teachers that can actually teach you how to paint realistically if you have the patience to learn and if you enjoy looking at life and depicting life then that is what you need to be doing you need to be painting with like blinders on it doesn't matter what other styles are in right now and if you enjoy the process of looking and capturing reality then that is your style and that is what you need to be doing because the thing is when you look back on your work you first of all enjoy painting them because you enjoy looking you enjoy studying life and capturing life so you looking back on your portfolio over time will be proud of those paintings and other people not just art critics not just teachers students all other people will be in awe of your work because people enjoy paintings and looking at skill and looking at a lifelike reality that was captured for them to look at and to kind of immerse themselves in people will always love that so don't block off the viewer from entering into your painting by painting everything through this kind of impersonal and kind of distracting depiction by making it a cartoon by making it not real this is a joke this is not for real instead give them a window into where they can look at life and capture a life and show them plausible reality.